artist and model. The sheer number of images of female nude figures throughout the art historical canon conceals the fact that female models were deemed inferior as the Western tradition of solo male, white genius solidified. Rather, it was the male nude with its roots in ancient Greek sculpture that was considered the height of beauty and virtue. Although academies of art required life drawing courses with male models from their establishment in the 15th century, most did not accept female models until the 19th century. However, male artists continually turned toward the female nude in their own studio practices, outside the officially sanctioned stance of the academy. The prevalence of female models in private studio settings has been dismissed as economics, explained away by male subjects charging more for their time. However, the mythos of the male artist intertwined with patriarchal notions of success is heavily sexualized. Although necessary for male artists, the female body was, and still is, undervalued, both figuratively and literally. Even in contemporary art, the nobility with which male nudes are treated contrasts starkly with the more sexualized presentation of female figures. These two scenes illustrate the teaching process at the Royal Academy of Arts in London, where Smith and Rowlandson both trained in the late 1700s. The value of drawing from life was a founding tenet of artistic education, and nude models were thought essential to fully understanding how to depict the human body. The students of the academy, as shown in both these images, were mostly men from relatively wealthy families. Despite two female artists being among the founding members of the academy, the first female student was not admitted until nearly a hundred years after the school opened. Societal rules hindered women from undertaking formal training among men and forbade them from being in the presence of nude models. Even upon enrollment of the first female students, they were not allowed to attend any life drawing classes with a nude model. This print was published in the magazine Le Charivari on January 26, 1848, as part of Domier's series titled Studio Scenes, Scenes d'Atelier. A patron, dressed in middle class fashion, bows and politely greets a woman whose stiff arms and perch on a wooden base reveals that she is, in fact, a sculpture. The artist, with his palette and canvas prepared, stoically watches his foolish patron. Daumier lightheartedly mocks the middle-class gullibility and naivete, but also transforms the female model who would have been present in such a studio into a prop. The female model becomes something only to be gazed at, rather than a person capable of returning that gaze. <laughs> 